Good morning, I'm Chris Freud, sports editor for the Vail Daily. <laughs> and I'm Matt Zelaznik, uh, news editor for the Vail Daily. Which would I'm still make her Kara Michnell. Uh, Kara Michnell, arts and entertainment writer. Today's Vail Daily, Daily <laughs> asks the pressing question, and ho hopefully Kara Mee can answer, is what would you like in your ideal meat pie? Mmm, ideal meat pie filling. Meat. meat would be good. Bacon and cheese. Because I actually tried that yesterday at Good Day Mate, the new meat pie shop in Avon, and it was excellent. Highly recommend it. I choose, I think, uh, pepperoni and uh, it's not a pizza, maybe man. garlic. And not a pizza. Tuna fish. I'd stick with the base concept of meat. I, I think yeah, just meat, meat, plain meat, meat, meat pie types of meat. should have meat in it. Okay, our other uh, top story in news is overcrowding at the county jail. It's a nice segue from something totally silly to something a little more serious. Yeah, Apparently, the jail is running a little bit out of room. At least it wasn't like you know, eleven people die in plane crash. It's just a little overcrowding, right? Um, they're running out a little bit of room, which has all sorts of side effects. Which means um, they have to ship inmates to other jails, which means they have less. You know, a deputy has to drive them. They don't let prisoners drive themselves to other jails, um, which means you have less deputies at the jail, which they say leads to fights um, and that sort of nonsense. Um, also, we will have a story on what people think about the plan to renovate the Lion's Head Garage, which is not as exciting as meat pie or, or overcrowded prisons, but it's something our readers in Vail are very interested in. And if you don't know, the plan is to uh, put hotels and condos and shops and all sorts of wonderful things on top of the garage. So uh, what's up in sports? Well, no, I was looking for a neat segue from development to girl soccer. Let me try again. Um, along with a Banana Republic, there will not be a girl soccer supply out Fitter. Okay, well that's good because no. Battle Mountain Soccer I think already has its equipment and it's in good shape. In today's paper we're going to be previewing uh, the ladies as they make, uh, you know, as they start their season for, uh, in their quest for a league title, they return 58 goals between Kelsey Sanders and Julia Burnett. So we'll be getting a good look at the Huskies led by David Cope as well. Uh, we're going to look at the boys of spring. I know it doesn't feel like spring, but uh, Eagle Valley baseball surfing? is underway. Yes, surfing. They'll be playing, you know, like the fielders, they will be trying to feel, you know, the, the ball while on surfboards. That'll work. Maybe not. Like anyway, Eagle, Eagle, Valley, <laughs> Eagle Valley returns a whole bunch of underclassmen who are now upperclassmen, and they are optimistic for 2006. So uh, spring sports are underway, despite the fact we have a lot of white stuff on the ground. Not translate. Uh, white stuff, white stuff. There will be white space in tomorrow's paper, along with classified uh, editorials, ads, and photographs. So pick it up. All the